test of hypothesis. Before going to discuss about test of hypothesis, first we need to dis uh, discuss what is hypothesis. So simply what we can say, hypothesis is a statement, it is a statement given to unknown parameter. That means, parameter means you know, mu sigma, population related measurements, population mean, population SD. Simply what we can say, hypothesis is a statement. Hypothesis is a statement, what is a statement? Statement is a sentence which is either true or false but not both. So hypothesis means simply one sentence. Now we need to decide whether it is true or false. If it is true we will accept. If it is false we will reject. So testing of hypothesis means testing of hypothesis means whether we need to accept the hypothesis or reject the hypothesis. Whether we need to accept the hypothesis or reject the hypothesis. After testing, the statement at the end we will come to know whether we need to accept that statement or reject the statement. So that procedure is called testing of hypothesis. Hypothesis are two types. There are two types of hypothesis. One is null hypothesis. Null hypothesis. We represent that one with H0, another one alternate to hypothesis. Null hypothesis, a hypothesis of no difference, a hypothesis of no difference, a hypothesis of no difference is called null hypothesis which is represented by H0. What it means? If you want to test a statement without having any difference, taking it as yes. If I say average mean 30, in null hypothesis we will take yes, average mean is 30. In null alternative hypothesis, what we will do? Alternative hypothesis which is represented with H1. Here, this is negation of null hypothesis. Negation of null hypothesis. So, which is represented by H1. Negation means what you write in H0, if you say in H0 yes, here you will say no. If you say here right, here you will write wrong. If you write here equal to, here you will write not equal to. If you say here mu equal to 30, here you will say mu not equal to 30. So like that, alternative hypothesis is simply writing not before the statement. If it is yes, you will say here yeah, no. That type of hypothesis is called alternative hypothesis, H1. Null hypothesis is a hypothesis of no difference. Alternative hypothesis is negation of null hypothesis. Now, there are some errors in testing. We call them as type 1 error and type 2 error. Type 1 error, type 2 error. What is type 1 error? Accept H0, 
when it is false. <coughs> Accept H naught when it is false. What it means? Even though H naught is false, accept that one. So this is type 2 error, sorry. Accept H naught when it is false, type 2 error. Type 1 error is reject H naught, reject H naught when it is true. This is type 1, type 1, this is type 2. So what it means? We represent this one with uh, alpha, this one with beta. Accept H0 when it is false. Even though H0 is false, accept that one. Even though H0 is true, reject that one. That is a type 1 error. Sorry, here alpha. Type 1 error alpha, type 2 error beta. When you will face this situation? For example, there is an X company medicine. X company medicine found to be expired. They are not good medicine for a particular disease. That one we need to test. X medicine are not good. That is hypothesis. H0. We test that medicine. What we found this X company medicine are not good is true then what we will do x company medicine are not good means they won't take simply what we will do we will reset the medicine if one company medicine is not good can you accept that medicine no you will reset even though this is true what we are doing we are resetting if you found that X company medicine not good, is false, that means they are good, then you will accept. So these two are called type 1, type 2 errors in testing. In the similar manner, we will discuss about critical region in testing. Critical region means simply, we can say, rejection region. Rejection region. The percentage where the hypothesis is accepted that is called acceptable region. So generally we write this rejection region here. This is rejection. This is acceptance. So this rejection region also called as critical region. This value which separates acceptable region and rejection region, that value is called critical value. Critical value. Which separates acceptable region and rejection region. That value is called critical value. We represent this crit critical region with an alpha percentage. Generally, the rejection region is 5%, 10%, 1% like that. Rejection 5% means acceptance 95%. So we represent that one with the alpha, 1 minus alpha into 100% is confidence limit. That is 95%, 10%, 98%, 99%. And also, in testing we are having two types of testing one tile test and two tile test that we will discuss if the rejection region is both sides we call that test as two tile test if rejection region is one side we call that one as one tile test there are two types of testing one tile and two tile one tile test in one tile the rejection region will be on one end only one end this end or if you draw the same figure this end if you have rejection region right side that is called right tile test if the rejection is left side we call that one as left tile test 
to decide the test is left one tile or two tile we see in H1 in H1 if you have less than or greater than that is one tile test that is H1 means alternative hypothesis in two tile we have the resection region on both sides both ends you will find the resection region you will have resection region at both ends if resection region is at both tiles we call that one as two tile test in two tile test h1 is strictly not equal to type not equal to means we need to test on less than side and greater than side so these are the fundamental concepts on testing of hypothesis what is hypothesis what are the types of hypothesis what are the types of errors type 1 error type 2 error and types of test one tile test two tile test are you clear working rule for testing hypothesis if you want to test a hypothesis what is general procedure to test so to test an hypothesis step 1 is write null hypothesis write null hypothesis that is h not step 1 writing null hypothesis a hypothesis of no difference a hypothesis of no difference. Step 2. <coughs> write alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis. Which is called H1. First write null hypothesis H0. Next write alternative hypothesis H1. Alternative hypothesis means what you written in H0 simply oppose that. If you say here equal to here not equal to. Sometimes less than, greater than. So this H1 decides whether we are doing one tile test or two tile test. In H1 if you have not equal to tile that is two tile test. If you have less than or greater than type that is one tile test step three in step three we are going to write the critical region level of significance we call that one as level of significance that is alpha percentage alpha percentage generally it is 5 percent or 2 percent 1 percent 10 percent rejection percentage how much percentage you may reject the hypothesis next step 4 write the test statistic test statistic means formula for Z. If it is Z test, Z, if it is T test, T, like that large sample, small sample tests are there, we will discuss that one. For Z, which is simply say formula for calculating calculated value. Next, step 5. Find table value table value here we will get z calculated value here we will get z table value if z calculated is less than or equal to z table then accept h0 otherwise reject h0 so testing means in the previous class we discussed whether we need to accept h0 or reject h0 that is testing after doing testing finally we need to decide 
whether we have to accept or reject. If the calculated value of z is less than or equal to calculated value of z, calculated value of z less than or equal to the table value of z, then we will accept the hypothesis. Otherwise, we will reject the hypothesis. Otherwise, reject h naught. Reject h naught. So this is the conclusion. So for every testing, testing a hypothesis, it involves these steps: writing h naught, writing h one, and writing alpha. Next, finding z calculated. Next, z table. Next, conclusion. This is conclusion. Basing on this, we will conclude. This is the important formula which you need to remember for deciding whether we have to accept H naught or reject H naught. Any doubts, you may ask. This is general procedure. Next, we will discuss the testing procedure for particular test. Okay.